Hi, it's been a while since I've posted a video, and so I'm back. And here's a video that uh, a video here's a painting that I started, uh, you know, a little while back. Uh, actually, I've got a backlog of videos that I need to edit and put together uh, that I've been meaning to do, but um, been been busy, been busy, and uh, been especially busy drawing and painting. But uh, with all that's been going on, um, I've also had some other uh, chores to do, especially with helping my son get through school uh, now that uh, because of pan the pandemic that he's had to uh, be doing it from home. But that's uh, mostly over now and he's graduating. He's graduated. Uh, so anyway, uh, just to, to talk about this, uh, what I'm doing now is this is a painting I did in, in Casein. And uh, I started out with doing this drawing and, and doing a little bit of a, um, a wash before, you know, toning the, the board uh, before I went and started. This is a, um, what I'm painting on is, is a, a called a, a watercolor board. Uh, it's it's a um, kind of like an illustration board, but with watercolor paper. And it's made uh, by Canson. Um, but, uh, it's kind of funny because the watercolor paper they're using is, is arts. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know how they worked all that out, but it's a, it's a great board and, uh, for, for painting. Um, but I'm, I'm using casein. Now this is a different, uh, medium for me. Um, and I, I came about it in, 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 uh, a couple of ways I've, I've I've used it before and I've forgotten all about it um, a long long time ago I read an article in uh, American artist magazine many many years ago I don't even remember when it was that I read that article and it talked about casein and I at the time I like to I like to try it out new uh, um, mediums and such so i think i bought a few tubes and and I, I really didn't understand anything beyond what that article and i was a teenager at the time uh so i've forgotten all about it then um two things uh quite recently uh the painter gurney made a few videos uh where he painted in casein and i saw it and i i liked what i saw and at the same time um i learned and i purchased the book on an illustrator named Harry Anderson, who um, who at the time, I, I believe, initially worked in oil paints for his illustration, but because he had developed uh, um, an allergy towards, I don't know whether it's the solvents or the paint, he began to use uh, casein. And uh, so I looked at his paintings, and they they were terrific. They, they I I thought initially that they were all oil paintings, um, but um, so I saw that casein, even though very very similar to gouache, it, there was some things that were different about it. And one of the things is that um, unlike gouache, where you can um, uh, uh, reactivate it, casein you can't. Once it dries, it dries hard, and that's it. Uh, now, um, because what it enables me to do is use some other techniques that are, um, that, that, you know, you don't normally use in a medium like this, that's, uh, water soluble. And that is, I, I'm able to glaze over colors. I'm, you know, able to do different things that I might ordinarily have done with oil paint and not with, with a medium like gouache. So, um, so I was up for just experimenting and playing with the paint and just uh, trying to really get that look or that finish of an oil painting rather than it uh, seem like a, a, a gouache painting. And uh, um, now uh, the paint itself kind of dries very, very matte like, like gouache. Um, but you can, you know, you, you can add like, uh, um, you can add like the, the emulsion and, uh, um, there's also, you can varnish it so that it would look, uh, a lot more, lot closer to, to oil paint than it would to something like wash. Um, but I, I thought this painting, um, I didn't use any, any varnish or anything like that after I was done with it. And I found 
found that I didn't need to. It just looked fine as it was. Um, so, uh, again, I was just uh, trying out uh, uh, a new medium. And, and I've done, and, and at some point I've, I've, uh, I've used casein before this, of course. But uh, um, I, I really... I'm still in the middle of just toying with it. So it's a great medium, though. I, I, I liked it. Um, I want to do more with it. As, as a matter of fact, I kind of used casein in my other paintings, but I mixed it with gouache. So it was more of a mixed media. Um, and it works well with gouache. And I used it as, a, um, as, an, as an underpainting. And I've done that. I do that from time to time when I'm working gouache, especially when I'm working on a larger painting. I would use a, a, a um, the casein and and just uh, do some washes and and just uh, tone the surface and 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 all the drawing and all the preliminary work I would do in casein. And what I find is that just helps me out with the. Uh, um, with the gouache because one it, it covers I, I you know I cover the whole uh, um, surface but at the same time it gives me a nice surface to paint on as long as I don't paint the the, the casein too thickly on too you know just paint it too thick because uh, what happens is that uh, um, it, it just takes a while to build up the gouache on the paint if I if, if it's too thick but um, if not, you know, if if I use it just right, um, with the right amount of water and and pigment, uh, I like um, the way that the the gouache behaves on the surface of, of uh, the 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 board, or or whatever. Well, I, with casein, I would have to work on something that's stiffer, that's more like a board, because what happens with casein is that even though it it uh, you can build it like gouache and you can and um you can actually use it just a bit thicker um than 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 i would gouache but um uh, one of the things is that it is it's the binder used i believe so it's a very very thin brittle paint if it's done on on uh like a thin piece of paper or something like that uh, so i want to make sure that i'm working on like i'm working on right now board or um or you can work on masonite or or something like that where um where i'm not afraid i'm not afraid that the you know that because of the flexibility of the board that the paint itself would crack uh so i'm safe using this board and and, and the thickness of of uh uh and I, I don't have to worry about uh the thickness of the paint you know it it doesn't uh it won't crack on a board like this but uh, anyway, um, so when I'm painting in gouache on a board, uh, what happens is that uh, um, it, it, the, 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 the surface becomes nice to paint on, you know, uh, and, uh, um, and I like the way that the, the, the gouache behaves when I'm painting on, on uh, or over, when I'm painting over the casein. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and speed this video up uh, and then uh, um, if needs be, uh, I'll talk about it. But it's uh, basically, um, uh, you know, basically I work this the same way I work my gouache paintings, the same way I work my oil paintings is just uh, um, something similar. And this this right here is, is by the way, is a self-portrait that I did during this time that uh, we were on, uh, which we still are, on quarantine. Um, and uh, so anyway, that's what I'm working on. So I'll speed this video up. All right.
All right, so I've gotten pretty far here. Um, I'm still getting used to these paints. I'm not exactly, at this point, I'm not exactly thrilled about everything. Um, I'm, I'm still trying to work my way as to, as to understanding the medium and, and knowing how to solve like the beard and, and, and the, 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 you know, the transitions between one value to the other. Um, and it, it's, uh, the photograph that I'm working from, cause I took this photograph of myself, um, is also a little bit of a challenge, uh, with the lighting. Um, but I, you know, rather than doing something that, uh, um, I just wanted to do something different that, uh, um, so as far as the, the, the challenge of working with this, this particular lighting is concerned. Um, so anyway, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm trying to work these things out with, with the, with these paints. It's a little bit different for me. It's like, a, it's very, very similar to um to gouache but it dries really really fast and one of the things that i do i have a bottle of emulsion that i add to the paint to to just make it a little bit more you know to thin it out a little bit more kind of uh, um helps it like uh like in the same way linseed oil would help oil paint you know you just thin the paint out a little bit when it's too thick and to, so that you get it to a consistency where it's easy to work with. So as I'm working on this, the paints are drying on the palette. And um, th there's a good amount of paint there. So it's not like I want to continually squeeze paint out of the tube because I I'll just go through the tube much too fast. Um, so having that emulsion helps because then, the, you know, I'm just not wasting the paint. Um, at the same time, it, it's still drying up pretty fast. Uh, there's a temptation at some point to just go ahead and switch on over to, to gouache because yeah, I'm more familiar with it. That'll be easier for me to work with, but then i will never get to learn how to work in casein if I keep doing that. So like, uh, for other paintings, I, I'll, I'll go ahead and use the gouache. But this particular painting, the, 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 the thing I had in mind was I wanted to work in this particular medium to see what, uh, um, how much, you know, how far I can get. I know it's not, it's not a matter of what the medium can do. The medium can do a whole lot. I've seen other people use the medium. It's a matter of uh, where I'm at with, with uh, using this medium and with... Uh, the skills I've acquired so far so um, I'm, I'm going to speed this up now I'm going to continue to paint uh, but then again I just wanted to, to let you know what the challenges are and the biggest challenge is, is this paint dries really really fast
Okay, so I've gotten even further along here on this painting and actually a lot happier with where this painting is headed. Um, I, I think that uh, um, there's, there's some things that I still got to get used to about this paint, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. Now, at some point also, um, I, I for, for whatever reason, while I was recording this, um, the, 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 the last, oh, I don't know, I guess the last half hour or so, uh, did not record, like my, my camera stopped recording and I was too busy working on the painting to really know. So the final result is going to look a lot different than what this, not a lot different, um, actually not, it's not a lot different, but, um, there are going to be some changes as far as, uh, what the final painting looked like, uh, from the end of this video to the final painting that, that, that I'll show. Um, but, um... I went a long way, and I, I think this. Uh, um, I was happier with the end result than I thought I was going to be. Um, but uh, it, there, there's still more I need to learn about this medium. Um, I do enjoy it a lot, and I do like the results. And uh, I, you know, I look forward to to um, uh, doing some more painting in casein. Um, and, and also studying what other people do with it, uh, as well. Uh, it helps to look at, uh, where other artists take it and, and, um, especially artists, like I said, Harry Anderson. Uh, so this is the finished piece. Uh, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I will be back with more and certainly I'll probably, uh, look, uh, you can probably look forward in the future of me using casein more often. Alright, be back with another video soon. Bye-bye.